getting a prize like this is, uh, is wonderful because you don't have to write a plan of what you're going to do. The freedom of, of having this complete trust from the funding agencies, you know what you're doing, here is the money, try to find out something nice. Yeah, this is a typical small Dutch shallow lake. And what we found out about those lakes is that they can be clear and they can be turbid and usually there is nothing in between. So if you have a clear lake and you let more and more nutrients from the surrounding land flow into the lake, in the end the clear state becomes unstable and very little is needed to let it flip to the turbid state. And once it is turbid, it's actually quite difficult to get it back. You can reduce the nutrient load to a lake, but it tends to stay turbid because that is a stable state again. We found out to, to get the turbid lake really back in the clear state you need to do something extra, a shock therapy. And uh, a shock therapy that appears to work very well is to take out fish from the lake. This turbid lake is full of those fish. They whirl up the sediments, releasing nutrients from the sediments and that's maintaining the turbid state. So by doing something about the total resilience, the nutrient load to the lake, as well as giving it a little push by temporarily removing the fish, we can flip-flop it from one state to the other. Well, a very comparable situation you see, for instance, in uh, the economic situation of families or, or neighborhoods, uh, that can be in a poverty trap. It's like a lake becoming turbid. When a family or a neighborhood or a country becomes too poor, they cannot invest in anything else than trying to get money. They can't invest in education, in buying material for a business. And that poverty trap is difficult to get out. And we found out that a small perturbation of the system by giving a micro credit, a micro loan, is sometimes enough to create a tipping to a permanently more wealthy state. And that's perfectly analogous to the idea that we use in lakes. Once you understand how it works, you can uh, try to uh, create good moves in a system. You can help it escape from an, uh, an unwanted situation. I think the first thing you see when you meet Martin is how enthusiastic he is. And I think that it's very contagious. So I think for a researcher, yeah, to be excited about what you do is primordial. And um, yeah, I think everybody around him, you kind of get this vibe, positive vibe about research. And uh, yeah, I think that's one strong thing Martin has enthusiasm. <laughs> Once you, you understand the, the theory of dynamical systems, you can, in principle, apply it to many other dynamical systems, but you can never do it alone because you really need somebody that, that, somebody that really knows a lot about those systems. Learning about the climate is a, is a lifetime's job. Learning about financial markets is a lifetime's job. So it's not something you do alone. So I can bring my luggage, which is the understanding of the basic principles of how dynamical systems work and then together talking and, and playing with, with ideas uh, in the end, if you're lucky, you arrive at some new insights. Die, die spelen iets en denk je van ja, ja, mooi, tof. Je hebt ook muzikanten, zoals Martin, die iets spelen en alles is er. De kleuring, het uh, gevoel, uh, de techniek, de emotie. En uh, dat is, vind ik heel bijzonder. Dat iemand wat speelt, bijvoorbeeld een stukje van een paar akkoorden, een stuk muziek of een liedje en alles is er. Nou, zo iemand is Martin.
most of the the ideas come from from intuition, from association. Uh, now, many scientists, most I, I guess all scientists, get lots of ideas, intuitive, and then the next step is to find out which of the, those ideas make sense and which not. So, if, but the the real the creative process comes very much from from intuition, and then it goes through the harsh filter of elaborating and then you'll find out that 90% of the ideas that that felt wonderful when you got them first in the end it don't make sense but those 10% are the really good ones Hij is een invloedrijk maar bovenal verrassend en inspirerend wetenschapper die keer op keer de grenzen tussen verschillende wetenschapsgebieden overschrijdt en verlegt Professor Martin Schaff As a Dutch children book writer once wrote, today I'm gonna think of something I've never thought of before. I'm so curious what that will be. Mm -hmm.